Good morning, everybody, and welcome again. This is a power reading lesson. We did one of these yesterday, so this is just a follow on about the owl was who the owl who was afraid of the dark. So today we're going to be looking at questions where we've got to really look carefully and find the answers in the text. Okay, so I want you to read the text in red. Okay, so have a go at reading it yourself. Okay, so let's have a look at the question. Now then, I want you to get into the habit of reading the question yourself. OK, but th for the first time, I will read it. OK, so what does Mrs. Barn Owl want to help Plop to do? OK, let's have a look in the text. So we know it says she was going to need a lot of patience. She tried to think how best she could help Plop. Ah, so she wanted to help Plop not to be afraid of the... That's correct. Look in the text. It says she shut her eyes and tried to think how best she could help Plop not to be afraid. Afraid of what? That's correct. Not to be afraid of the dark. Now then, let's have a look at these questions, okay? These two questions, you will find the answer in the previous slide. So, see if you can read the first one yourself. Yeah, so we want to know, why does Mrs. Barn Owl think Plop is afraid of the dark? And if you look really closely in the middle of the text, it says Plop. You are only afraid of the dark because, so it's giving us an answer, you don't know about it. So that answer would be, Plop's afraid because he doesn't know anything about it. Now then, the bottom one is about, look at it, it's in capitals. It says, give two colours that Mrs. Barn Owl says that night can be. It's not black, is it? Because she says that's wrong for a start. So there are three colours it could be and you've only got to pick two. It says it can be, <gasps> you're right, silver, blue or grey. So that would be the answer to that. OK, now then this says, look, in red, it says it clearly said that Mrs. Barnell would need a lot of patience. What do you do if you are patient? See if you can read them options yourself. Yeah, we can rule, rule two out straight away, can't we? You don't plod on, plod, plod, plod. Give up, you give up, mm, not if you're patient. Persevere, yeah, you, have a, you persevere, but persistent, means you're patient, you persist till you get there. So Mrs. Barn Owl is going to persist to ensure that the owl is not afraid of the dark. Now then, again, look, there's quite a bit of text in red. I would like you to read that to yourself now. OK, so can you read that question to yourself? So this is a why question. We've got to think. Why does Mrs. Barn Owl say that Plop does not know that dark is nasty? Yes, yeah, she says you don't know that. And why? 
That's right, if you read it, it says you've never had your beak outside the nest hole after dark. Wonder what about these ones, look. Where does Mrs. Barn Owl tell Ploppy should go to find out more about the dark? Where should he go? If you look carefully, it says, I think you'd better go down into the, yeah, you'd better go down into the world and find out a lot more. Okay. When does she think he should go? Let's go back. That's quite easy. When does she think he should go? It. That's easy. That one. Yeah, you're correct. Now. Now then. Plot says, dark is nasty. Plop said loudly. What adjective does Plop speak in when he says this comment? We know that adjectives are describing words, aren't they? What adjectives does Plop speak? He speaks all. Yeah, now it could loud is an app dark is nasty nasty is the adjective isn't it but loudly can be an adverb too can't it because a verb is a doing word and verb is la you're doing it loudly okay so it could also mean that it's a verb couldn't it but the you, you're describing how plop says it aren't you okay i wonder if you could write one of them questions out and write me your answer. Maybe have a look at the two pieces of text. See if you can make up your own question and write it out and answer it. And then send me it. I would love to see it. Okay.